Do you have a little extra you would like to give? Our Johnny Ewan tells us how your next haircut could be for a good cause. We decided to become an official Locks of Love salon to help provide the hair needed for the wigs for the children going through medical conditions. And that's exactly what Karen Kirby gets to do, being one of many salons across the nation teaming with the nonprofit organization. Today, Kassara Head is making her second donation to Locks of Love. I know that the hair is going to wigs for children. So that's something that I really feel passionate about. And uh, they're like one of the best known organizations out there to donate your hair to. Kassara's hair is just what the organization is looking for. Clean and dry, at least 10 inches, and in a braid or a ponytail. Once it's clipped, the hair is then mailed to the headquarters in Florida. Although not much information is received about the recipients, it's clear that everyone involved gets something out of it. This postcard over here that said I went to great lengths to provide hair for the, to help a child. That's very cool. So that's what I finally got out of it. <laughs> <laughs> Which is plus, you know, making people feel so good. They're just like, oh, you know, they love their hair now. <laughs> yeah, it's a way to give back. And especially to donate your, like anyone can give money, but not everyone can give hair. So if you have the opportunity to give it, I think that you should. Johnny Nguyen, new scene. Locks of Love accepts hair donations throughout the year. So as soon as your hair meets the requirements, you can donate too. Many fans are reacting to the death of Roger Ebert's death. Here with the latest in entertainment is Judith Gutierrez. Thank you. Um, unfortunately, that is a sad story about what happened to Ebert. But Roger Ebert was pronounced dead as of yesterday. Ebert died at the age of 70 after several complications with cancer. His legacy will be remembered as one of the greatest film critics of our time. Partnered with the late Gene Siskel, he co-hosted two shows for over 23 years at the movies and of course Cisco and Ebert were arguably some of the best shows to watch in order to know if a good movie was good or not. Those were the days before Facebook and YouTube we now get all the information at a click of a mouse. Ebert will live at a household name for generations as we give his career two thumbs up. On Tuesday we Michael Jackson's family filed a suit for liable of Michael's death. The pop star was last concert was held by the promoter AEG Live, who Michael's mother and children believe is responsible in his death. The family agrees the company hired and managed Jackson's doctor, Conrad Murray, who is serving time for the singer's death. But AEG Live's lawyer say Murray was hired by the singer. The trial could last a long time before found liable, and if it's probable, AEG Live could be forced to pay millions or even billions. After 22 years, The Tonight Show says goodbye to Jay Leno and hello to Jimmy Fallon. But don't worry, this doesn't seem to be a repeat of the Conan O'Brien fiasco. The Tonight Show will go on with Jimmy for the spring of 2014. To go along with network's coverage of the Winter Olympics, in statement, Leno congratulated Fallon saying, I hope you're lucky as me and hold on to the job until you're the old guy. If you need me, I'll be at the garage. The Tonight Show is planning to relocate from the Los Angeles to its original home in New York. NBC now looks to Fallon to bring in a younger audience for years to come. Believe it or not, fashion could not only be a use of its sense, but for a good cause. Oprah Winfrey did it, did it in South Africa, and now 37-year-old actress Angelina, Angelina Jolie is launching a new high-end jewelry line. Every dollar from the style of Jolie will be donated to the Education Partnership for Children to benefit all girls in school Afghanistan. Hairspray the musical opens at San Diego City College this Friday. The story follows Tracy Turnblad, who after landing a spot on her favorite TV show, dance show, uses her newfound celebrity to integrate the show. Hairspray is social commentary on political injustice of the 60s. The show runs from April 5th to April 21st in the Seville Theater. Tickets are $15 for general admission and $10 for students. If you're looking for a big bash next week, I can tell you where you should be. Justin Timberlake and several artists will perform at the White House next week in Memphis Soul Concert. 
is part of a President Barack Obama and Michelle Obama's in performance at the White House series. Other artists include Queen Latifah, Alabama Shakes, and many more. The concert will be recorded and broadcast April 16th on public television stations. So it looks like to me it's going to be a big party yeah. pretty right. soon, right? Mm -hmm. Next week. <laughs> Thank you, Judith. Yeah, no problem. We'll be right back after the break. Thank you. Excuse me. <laughs> well, hello. Hi. My internet connection's acting up. Do you know anything about hotspots? You know, if you angle yourself 45 degrees to the north, your computer's Wi-Fi card will uh, extrapolate the router signal more efficiently. Hit enter. It's going to come up with a dialog box. Welcome back, and now we have Omar Alatore with our weekend weather. What's going on in weather this weekend? Well, plenty of sunshine on the way, but first let's take a look at Lindbergh Field with the temperature in the low 60s, humidity at 72 degrees, or excuse me, 72 percent, winds from west to northwest uh, at 9 miles per hour with winds, and then surf to 1 to 3 feet, west facing, 2 to 2 4 feet south facing, ocean in the mid 60s, and sunrise. 6.30 this morning, sunset at 7.12 this evening. And then as we took our local county temperature, we have over in Oceanside at 67 degrees and low 53 degrees, over in Escondido, high in the 70s and low in 51 degrees. And look at over La Jolla, kind of chilly, but it'd be in the mid 60s, um, high on um, 50s. And then over in Chula Vista, we have temperatures at 67 degrees and the lows at 57 degrees, and over in El Cajon, you have timbers as high as 74 and low 50s. Now on our nation map, we look over to the northwest, temperature will be in the high 50s and 60s, and also parts of the southwest being the hot spot of the nation at temperatures at 89 degrees, and also in the Texas Panhandle. Now deep down in the south, we have temperatures at 60 and 70 degrees, and from Chicago to the um, in Tri-State area, we have the highs of 50s and 60s with plenty of sunshine. And our next map, we have an upper level disturbance following from north the northwest. We'll dig in deep into the Utah Basin and taking in a new northeast turn into Texas, Panhandle, and Louisiana. And, be, and this uh, tornado warning um, coming to Tuesday into Wednesday causing a severe tornado. So if you're out in the Midwest, be careful because be a chance to get a tornado. And then we have our coast temperatures, partly cloudy, with temperatures in the mid 60s, low temps at 58 degrees. And then low clouds giving way to sunshine, high temperature at 75 degrees, with the low temp at 55 degrees. Mountains mostly sunny, with temperatures high in the 60s, low 40s, and desert, plenty of sunshine, and with high temperature in the 80s and low 60s. So, plenty of sunshine headed this way. Can't wait. Um, I'm thinking of going fishing this weekend. Nice weather. I don't know about you guys. Got to break out the queue. Got to break it out. Yeah. <laughs> okay. You know, most sea, sea lions are known for laying on the beach, soaking up the sun. But Ronan, a sea lion at the Long Marine Laboratory in Santa Cruz, has some extra talent. Here she, is here she is bobbing her head to one of her favorite tunes, Earth, Wind & Fire's Boogie Wonderland. Ronan was found stranded on a highway in 2008 and was brought to UC Santa Cruz. Researchers there trained her to nod her head in time with rhythmic sounds. Aside from humans, this type of learned behavior has only been seen in parrots and other birds. That is just too adorable. I just want to know, can they break dance? I don't know. We'll see you later on. And on behalf of the radio and TV department, we'd like to thank student photographer Jim Blaze for the new backdrop that you see right behind us. And that's it for this week's edition of New Scene. I'm Jennifer Hua. I'm James Smith. Thank you for joining us.